Hey there YouTube, so today for my example I'm going to do my first of Robert's fancy tricks with SolidWorks. I have received several questions about doing this exact process recently and uh, it's not one that's abundantly obvious on how to do but it's not hard uh, to solve and that is finding the interior volume of some irregularly shaped tank. This is usually like a water tank and it's got extra pipes coming off of it or it's not like a perfect cylinder and uh, it is not very hard to find the interior volume of this part. So here's how to do it. We're going to create a solid body that exists inside this part and that's going to represent the fluid that's inside of it and then we're going to calculate the volume of that interior body. So this is how you do it. The first thing I'm going to show you the inside of my part. I'll just use a section view. So we've cut this thing in half. You can see very strange shape. Not very easy to guess the volume because, especially because of this shape in here. I'm sure you could figure it out, but who wants to bother with that? So here is how we're going to do it. We're going to create a surface body that offsets the interior of this part offset by zero inches so that way it's right on the body. Now selecting all of your faces might be difficult so this is trick number one. We're going to come over to surfaces and we're going to select offset surface. Now it wants the faces to select. Now you could kind of click on this and then like look around try to click on all the faces maybe you do that right click select other and then you can kind of select maybe some of the interior faces using this, but it's kind of troublesome to do. A much easier way to do this is to um, turn on your selection filter. So if you right click up on your command manager, you'll get all your toolbars, and here's selection filters. You're going to select the filter faces. This makes it so that you can only select faces and no edges, nothing else. So we're going to select that. Now we're going to hit Control A on our keyboard, and that will select all faces on your part. Now what you can do is deselect the ones you don't want, which is much easier because those are on the outside. So I'll go around deselecting, and I'm just clicking on them to remove them from the list of selected services. Got that off already, and got this edge here, and there we go. Now the only faces that are selected are on the inside. So we set the offset distance to zero, and then we click OK. And what we have now is a surface body on the inside. Now to show you that it's there, I'm going to hide the solid body. And now we have this thing, infinite thin, uh, infinitely thin walls here, zero thickness. Blue edges and surfaces mean that it's not knit to another surface body. So it's just a free hanging edge. So what we need to do in order to close this up and form a solid is to close up these edges. So we're just going to use a filled surface and I'm going to select this edge and SolidWorks is going to fill that with a disk. We're going to click OK and now that's filled in. You can't see into it anymore. Uh, it's still not knit because it's blue but we're going to do that later. We're going to do another filled surface on this face here or on that edge click OK and that's going to create a face. So now it's all closed up and if you if you need proof you can do the section view again click OK. So now, so now you can see we have an interior volume again but now it's just the inside edges of our original body. So we're done making that and now we're going to use this last tool knit surfaces and we're going to select all three surfaces There we go. We're gonna just we're gonna select all of them actually. If you've merged entities before, then you're set. Otherwise, you gotta select all of the uh, all of the surfaces, and then you get this button here. This is try to form solid. Now, if your part doesn't have any gaps in it, and SolidWorks is able to knit the whole thing together, then you'll get a solid body. Which in this case, uh, I've got a little bit of errors here. There's some gaps, so that didn't quite work. Why didn't that work? Okay, we're going to go back.
Oh, I see why. I had my face fil uh, filter still turned on, so I didn't make my boundaries off the edges. I made extra surfaces. So I'm going to include this in the video so you can see my error. Easy mistake to make. you got to turn off your filters. So now we're going to do that boundary fill again, except I'm only going to select the edge. Now you can see it says edge. I'm sure if you rewound my video, you would see that the other one had selected a face. Click OK. Filled. Select the edge. Click OK. OK. We're going to knit surfaces again. Ah, see now how that all selected at once? We're going to do that again. That's a good sign. Select that face. Select that face. Click the check mark. Merge solids. Black edges. So it's still a solid body because I didn't check the try to form solid. So we're going to edit feature. Merge entities. Try to form solid. Click OK. Now we have two solid bodies in our part. We're going to change the appearance of this one to blue. And now I'm going to show this body again. And now it's back. And now we have our tank and its interior volume. Now to measure the mass properties and the volume of that part, we're going to go to the Evaluate tab. Select Mass Properties. We're going to delete out the selected items because it selected the entire part. And instead, we're just going to select the blue part. It'll be called Surface Knit because that was the last feature that was used. We'll hit Recalculate. And right there, the volume of our interior of our strangely shaped tank. Uh, feel free to watch this as many times as you need. Uh, if you have any other questions or want some more tips on how to use SolidWorks to do interesting things, you can uh, make your requests in comments below, or you can email me, mudrock1221 at gmail.com.